ευλογημένη βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Υγου του Πνεύματος νυν και αΐ και στους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, you are magnified exceedingly. You clothe yourself with thanksgiving and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment, who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You are he who covers his upper chambers with water, who makes the clouds his means of approach, who walks on the wings of the winds, who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He established the earth on its stable foundation. It shall not be moved unto ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The water shall stand upon the mountains. At your rebuke they shall flee. At the sound of your thunder they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down to the place you founded for them. You set a boundary they shall not pass over, neither shall they return to cover the earth. You are he who sends springs into the valley. The water shall pass between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field. The wild ashes shall quench their thirst. The birds of heaven shall dwell beside them. They shall sing from the midst of the rocks. You are he who waters the mountains from his higher places. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of your works. You are he who causes grass to grow for the cattle and the green plant for the service of man, to bring forth bread from the earth, and wine gladdens the heart of man, to brighten his face with oil, and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There the sparrows shall make their nests, the house of the heron takes the lead among them. The high mountains are for the deer, the cliff is a refuge for the rabbits, he made the moon for seasons, the sun knows its setting. You established darkness and it was night, wherein all the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises and they are gathered together and they shall be put to bed in their dens. Man shall go out to his work and to his labor until evening. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth was filled with your creation. There is this great and spacious sea, the creeping things that are there without number. The living things are there, both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is this dragon you formed to play therein. All things wait upon you that you may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him, and I shall be glad in the Lord. May sinners cease from the earth and the lawless so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness and it was night. O Lord, your works shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have for mercy. For this holy house, let us rest in the faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have for mercy. For the pious and Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and have for our mercy. Christmas, Father, Son, with the humble presbyterate, for the diaconate in Christ, with the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For our country and the president, for all this public service, the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. Amen. Κυρίε Μαρίες που τα πάντων Αγίου με μενεύσεντες, εαυτούς και έλειους και πάσε τη ζωή νημών, πίσω το Θεό παραθώ μεθά. Κύριε Κύριε, η πρέπει και προσκύνηση στον Πατρί και το Υιό και το Υιό Πνεύμα την Ικαία, και Ιησούς αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Ωραία.
have cried out to you. Hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I have cried out to you. Hear me, give heed to the voice of my supplication. When I cry out to you, hear me, O Lord. Κατευθύν θύτω η προσευχή μου ως τη μία μα ενώπιον σου. Έπαρσις των χειρών μου θυσίαν εσπερίνη, εις άκουσον μου Κύριε. We are now on page 7. If you, O Lord, should mark transgressions, O Lord, who could stand, for there is forgiveness with you. O Lord, our illumination, who enlightens everyone, when the forerunners saw you coming to be baptized, his soul rejoiced while his hand trembled. He pointed out to you and said to the people, Behold the one who delivers Israel, the one who frees us from corruption. O sinless one, O Christ our God, glory to you. Because of your law, O Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul <coughs> hopes in the Lord. And for this monument, and for this and abandon, anthropon, idon o prodromos baptistine para genomenon. Kere ti psiki ke tremiti kiri. Δείχνει σαν αυτόν και λέγει τη λαή. Είδε όλοι τρούμενο τον Ισραήλ. Ο λευθερώνει μα εκ τη χώρα. Ο αναμάρτητε Χριστέ ο Θεό Σιμών. Δοξάσει. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. And our Redeemer was baptized by his servant, and the Holy Spirit was present and bore witness to him. The armies of angels watched and trembled, and from heaven a voice came from the Father. He on whom the forerunner lays his hand is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. O Christ our God, glory to you. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Praise him, all you peoples. Da iordani arithra se timpigine vexato ke o paraklitos enidi Peristeras catiqueto, clinicori fino clina suranus, crasi que voam, plithos ton plasturgon. Timi epitatis to hiperemem, ego crian eco tu su baptismo, o ana martite Christe o Theosimos. For his mercy rules over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Wishing to save mankind which had gone astray, you did not deem it unworthy to put on the form of a servant. It was fitting for you, the Master, to assume what is ours for our sake. Right. When you were okay. baptized in the flesh, O Redeemer, you granted us forgiveness. Therefore we shout to you, O Benefactor, Christ our God, glory to you. Και αγίω νεύμα 
Crush the heads of the dragon. You came to the river and you enlighten the universe to glorify you, O Savior. The Genesis. Wisdom, let us be attentive. In the beginning, God made heaven and earth. The earth was invisible and unfinished, and darkness was over the deep. The Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw the light, it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, the darkness he called night, and there was evening and morning one day. Then God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the water, and let it divide the water from the water, and it was so. Thus God made the firmament, and God divided the water under the firmament from the water above the firmament. So God called the firmament heaven, and God saw that it was good, and there was evening and morning the second day. Then God said, Let the water under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. The water under heaven was gathered into its places, and the dry land appeared. So God called the, the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let, earth, let the earth bring forth the herb of grass bearing seed according to its kind and likeness. Let the fruit tree bear fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind on earth. It was so. Thus the earth brought forth the herb of grass bearing seed according to its kind and likeness. The fruit tree bore fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind on earth. God saw that it was good, so evening and morning were the third day. You appeared in the world, even as the world's creator, to illumine those who sit in darkness. Lord, who loves humanity, glory to you. May God be gracious to us and bless us. May he cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Illumine those who sit in darkness, Lord, who loves humanity, glory to you. That we may know his way on earth, your salvation among the Gentiles. In aplotistis tu sens cotica thimenus let the peoples give thanks to you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth yielded her fruit. To illumine those who sit in darkness, Lord, who loves humanity, glory to you. 
May God, our God, bless us. May God bless us and let all the ends of the earth be in fear of him. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. You appeared in the world, even as the world's creator, to illumine those who sit in darkness. Lord, who loves humanity, glory to you. Readings from the fourth book of Kings. Wisdom, let us be attentive. And Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, please, for the Lord sent me on to the Jordan. But Elisha said, as the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So both of them went on. Fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood facing them at a distance, while two of them stood by the Jordan. Now Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water. The water divided this way and that, and the two of them crossed on dry ground. So it was that during the time they crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I may do for you before I am taken away from you. Elisha said, Please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. So Elijah said, You have asked a hard thing. If you see me when I am taken up from you, it shall be so for you. And if not, it shall not be so. Thus it came to be as they walked and continued to talk. Behold, a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire, and the fire separated them one from the other, and Elijah was taken up into heaven by a whirlwind. Then Elisha saw it and cried aloud, O Father, O Father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen. He saw Elijah no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into two pieces. Then he raised Elijah's mantle, which fell from Elijah and upon Elisha, and Elisha returned and stood on the bank of the river Jordan. He took Elijah's mantle, which had fallen upon him, and struck the water, but it did not divide. Then he said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah himself? And he struck the water again, and it divided this way and that. So Elisha crossed over. By the greatness of your mercy, O you, O Savior, showed yourself to sinners and publicans. Where else was your light to shine, if not among those who sit in darkness? Glory to you. The Lord reigns, he clothed himself with majesty. The Lord clothed him, girded himself with power. O God, the rivers, O Lord, lift up, the rivers lift up their voices. Wherever else was your light to shine, if not among those who sit in darkness, glory to you. Because of the voices of their many waters, marvelous are the billows of the sea, wondrous is the Lord on high. Your testimonies are very much believed. Holiness is proper to your house, O Lord, and to the length of days. Where else was your light to shine, if not among those who sit in darkness? Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. The reading is from the fourth book of Kingdoms. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Then Naaman, commander of the army of Syria, went with his horses and chariot and stood at the door of Elisha's house. And Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, Go and bathe in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored to you, and you shall be clean. But Naaman became furious and went away, saying, Indeed, I told myself that Elisha would come out to greet me, that he would stand and call on the name of his God, and that he would put his hand upon the place and heal the leprosy. Are not the Abana and the Farpar, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? Can I not bathe in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in rage. Then his servants approached and said to him, If the prophet were to tell you to do something great, would you not complete it? But here the prophet said to you, Bathe and clean. So Naaman went down and dipped seven times in the Jordan, according to Elisha's instruction. And his flesh was restored like the flesh of, of a little child, and he was cleansed. Amen. 
και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. ο Θεός, Αγίος Ισχύ, προσαγίος αθάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα πατρί και ο και ο πνεύματι και νυν και η και στου αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Αγίο αθάνατο Be attentive. The Lord is my light and my savior. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life. Whom shall I dread? Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's first letter to, to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, though I am free from all men, I have made myself a slave to all, that I might win the more. To the Jews I became as a Jew in order to win the Jews. So those under the law I became as, as one under the law, though not being myself under the law, that I might win under those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, not being without the law toward God, but under the law of Christ, that I might win those outside the, the law. To the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak, I have become all things to, to all men, that I might be all means to save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race all the runners complete, compete, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath. But we are, an imper we are imperishable. Well, I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air. But I pommel my body and subdue it, lest after preaching to others I myself should be disqualified. Be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us be attentive. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel. According to Luke, let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate, being governor of Judea, and Herod, being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region, of Uturia and Tractafundis, and Lysanias, Tetrarch of Avilin, and the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And he went into all the region about the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the word of Isaiah the prophet, the voice of one 
crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain shall be brought low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough way shall be made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. He said, therefore, to the multitudes that came out to be baptized by him, you brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits that befit repentance, and do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now, the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. The multitudes asked him, What then shall we do? And he answered them, He who has two coats, let him share with him who has none. And he who has food, let him do likewise. Tax collectors also came to be baptized. And he said to them, Teach, and they said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? And he said to them, Collect no more than is appointed you. Soldiers also asked him, And we, what shall we do? And he said to them, Rob no one by violence or by false accusation, and be content with your wages. As the people were in expectation, and all men questioned in their hearts concerning John, whether perhaps he were the Christ, John answered them all, I baptize you with water. But he who is mightier than I is coming, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So, with many other exhortations, he preached good news to the people. Oh, 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 oh. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Alispera, good evening to everyone. The two readings are very important for us to appreciate. The first reading that we heard of from the, uh, from the epistle is basically summed up in the following manner. Which athlete does not want to win the first prize? Which athlete does not want to win the championship. If there is such an athlete, they are really not athletes. They are thieves because they do not participate in the purpose of their employment or their task, which for an athlete is to win the medal, to win the trophy, to win, to win the award. So then, what must an athlete do? Well, the, the ones who make it to the championship, the ones who make it across the finish line, are the ones who push themselves the hardest. They sacrifice the most. They sacrifice family time. They sacrifice pleasure time. They sacrifice even financial gain in order to do what? To work their trade over and over and over again until it's a body mechanic. Like you know how you, you need to eat, right? If we put in front of you a bowl of pasta, you know you get a fork, you get a spoon. You don't get a knife. You get a steak. You don't ask for a butter knife, you ask for a steak knife because you know exactly what that tool does. The same way it is for us as we're preparing for what? The last moment of our life for after that, the race is over, we are sacrificing unconditionally, or we should be, for the benefit of our salvation. Now, where do we get this knowledge? Look at the Gospel reading. 
very clear. Before Christ came, God sent a forerunner, someone to prepare the way. Now, if you knew someone famous or someone important was coming to your house, there would be a forerunner who would go to the store, buy the wine, get the appropriate foods, and then the people at home making the preparations, cleaning up the house, etc. Right? Okay. Well, God was coming in the flesh. And so the forerunner, what was he going to say? Was he going to say, hey, God's coming. Everything's going to be okay. No. Because God was coming to solve our problem. We had a problem. The problem is we were disobedient. We weren't listening. No matter how many times we were told throughout creation, we were acting as if we were anointy without knowledge because we wouldn't accept the message that was given by one prophet, another prophet, another prophet, another prophet, throughout history. God kept sending prophets. He kept sending messengers, and we didn't get the message. And the message is very simple. One phrase. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In other words, behold the reason for our contest. Who doesn't want to be in the Super Bowl as a football player? Who doesn't want to be the best baker or attorney or to, ha to be the best scientist? We all do. So if you want to walk in and receive that reward, we have to sacrifice. The first sacrifice it is not about money, not about time, not about our personal treasures. The biggest sacrifice that we face as Christians is at the altar of to egoismo, of our pride. Our biggest enemy is pride. Pride governs everything. Pride makes us think, I have the answer. But God doesn't need us. Because clearly, as you heard in the scriptures, he can raise children of Abraham from stones. What do you mean God doesn't need us? I thought he made us so we can be with him. Right, so we can be with him. Not on top of his head, not making him the servant. So if we're the servants, we have to be obedient. Obedient to whom? To him. As is reflected through the honoring of of the teachers, the teachers, and the teachings that have been passed down to us. So, therefore, you can understand why people had this feeling, there's somebody out there, we better go and see him. And he said that we had to be baptized. So they said, what should we do? If you have two coats, give one over. If you have food, feed people. If you have time, Visit people, call people. If you're a good singer, fill the singing places of the temple. I have to say to you, and I use this with youth, I won't mention the singer's name, the artist's name, but it's more than one artist who grew up in a Christian home, who sang gospel songs. Someone heard them and said, You got to be a singer. I mean, like, we got to get you on TV. we got to get you to make records and, and, and albums and, and tapes and, and CDs and MP3s. And the person said, well, to glorify God, yes, I will. And that's how they got them in. And then slowly they said, you know what, maybe expand a little bit your repertoire. From singing gospel, sing a little country music. Okay. And then from a little country music, when they became real well-known, you know what? Add a little bit more jazz to it. Add a little bit more spice to it. Put a little shoulder in there. They started doing that too. And they were so famous. And everyone started buying their records and going to their concerts. I'm not talking about something 100 years ago. I'm talking about, in one case, less than 10 years. 
and they gave awards, and they gave awards. Now, if I showed you the picture of this person, that's why I don't want to mention the person, because I'm not judging, it's just making a very clear comparison of truth. And you looked at that person from when they first started to about two years later, to about a year later, to about a couple years later, and all of a sudden you see this innocence turn into demonic darkness. And they start doing things that no choir girl would have ever done. So what's the answer? The world says, just try. Yeah, a little bit. Go ahead. And like, well, it can't hurt that much. I can do good. I can raise money and pay off my family's debts. I can pay off the church debts. How many times do we hear people coming up with wonderful ideas how to solve the problems of the church? But you know, the sad thing is, when we can't solve our own problems. How are we going to solve someone else's? There's already a person who has an answer, and we have to be obedient. And that's what we fight the most. Ipakui means listen, be obedient, listen, and then do. And we can't do that because we fight constantly because we're always told, Ella, Ella, you can come this way, come this way. And that's what destroys us. So why have we gathered here tonight? Because we are people of hope. If we're here tonight because of tradition, go home. If you're here because, oh, you know, it's, it's paramoni, it's the evening of a theophany, epiphany, we have to come to church, we have to get our holy water, go home. We're here to offer our broken self. We're here to repent. We're here to say, takana salata. I, re- I made it, I, I messed it up. Now, don't think that if you say that you're going to be a candidate for psychological counseling. Oh, Father, these Christians are all walking around like mutromen. No, please don't. Because the people who have destroyed their ego, they are the simplest and happiest people. They don't even walk on the ground. They walk a little bit above the soil. You know who they are. You've seen them them. Some people recently have made it, if you will, to the walls of churches. Some have made great sacrifices for the trophy. The trophy isn't made out of metal or gold. It's made out of the mercy of God. It's Christ. That's the victory. That's what we want. Because here, raise, I mean, think about this if I ask you to raise your hand. Who wants to die and be annihilated and not to exist anymore? Raise their hand. So if we ask the other question, who wants to live when you die? Everyone puts their hands up. That's like going to all, what is it, 31 football teams, 30 football teams, and saying, who wants to win the Super Bowl? Uh, uh, woof, woof. Who wants to pay the price? We laughed yesterday that the New England Patriots had football practice in the blizzard. And the coach said, the one who's late will not play. Benched for the full playoffs. Wow. Because we're not playing around. They want to win. I don't care if they win or they don't win. But I'm just saying, who woke up yesterday morning saying, I'm going to school, I'm going to work, no matter what the weather is, I'm going to do it. Or was it, you know, give us some off time. Oh, we can have all the off time we want. But that's the problem. We get so lazy that we don't, we don't receive the victory at the end. So God gives us his flesh and blood, and God sanctifies everything for our benefit. He took wine, he took wheat, he took water, he took salt and yeast, and he blessed it. It's his body and blood. And before you leave, he'll take regular water, regular Cannonsburg 
tap water, and it will be the antidote to death. Save it there. Do you believe? If you believe, then make that your anthem for life every day. Σοφία, όπω υπό το κράτο του πάντε φιλετόμενοι στη δόξα να πέμπουμε, το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύμα τη νικαία ή και ίσω αιώνα των αιώνων. Πάντων ημών και πάντων των ευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών, Συνσύ Κύριος ο Θεός, εν τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε, νυν και αή και Ιησούς αιώνας των Invisibly escorted by an
evening prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For oh, the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house is to enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. And this soul. For an angel of peace, a faithful God, a garden of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. And this soul. Lord, in the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. And this, O Lord, that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. And this, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. And this, O Lord. Χριστιανάτα τέλη της ζωής ημών ανώδυνα ανεπέσκειν τα ειρηνικά και καλήν απολογίαν την επί του φοβερού βήματος του Χριστού ετισόμεθα. Ρασού Κύριε Της Παναγίας Συχράων του υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποίνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν τη ζωή ημών Christo the Theo Parathometha. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your Spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind. We may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Trinity, one in essence and undivided. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and he suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Domen galos, domen metaphobu proskomen, in agien anaphoran, and irini prosperi. Eleon irinis, this ion en Christu ki agapi tu Theo ki patros ke ikinonia tu ayup nev matos i meta pandoni mo. Emeta tu nev matos. Anos komentas kardias. E komen broston ki. Sing the triumphal hymn, 
exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Please kneel. Amen. Si prospero men, cata panda, que via panda. Not because of our own righteousness, for we have not done anything good upon the earth. Uh, for the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us upon the use of the name of God and Christ, I have shed for life and salvation of the world. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. In you, O Lady, full of grace, rejoices all creation, the orders of angels and the human race together. O hallowed temple and rational garden of paradise, the pride of virgins from you did God become incarnate and our God who existed before all the ages became a child for he made your womb a throne for himself and your body he made wider than the heavens in you O lady full of grace rejoices all creation glory among the first, remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Salvas, grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health on the length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each of us has in mind, and all the people. And all the people. And rather with one voice and one heart, may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let our God who loves mankind, having accepted them as holy and celestial and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. And we ask for the unity of the faith, for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. 
Δέσποτα μετά παρησίασε και τα κρήτο. Τον μάνι πηγαλίστε σε τον επορώνιο Θεό πατέρα και λέγει. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom of power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and through the ages of ages. Amen. Mirsiem amanikwa wote. Et oplevmatisu. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. O you, O Lord. Arti kitimis ke filanthropi etu monogenusi me theblogitosi si do banagio kagatho και σου ποιός σου πνεύματι, μην και αεί, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Πρόσκομεν, τα Άγια της Αγής, let us be attentive to the holy gifts for the holy people of God. Ις Αγίος, Ις Κύριος, Ιησούς Χριστός της δόξαν Θεού, Πατρός, αμήν. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God, the Father, amen. Ιφουμόγια, ουανανίμογια, Ιησού Χριστό, πατου κούφου αμούγκου, πατου αμή. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master, who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Da povu theopistes ki agapis proselfete Approach with the fear of God, with faith, and with love. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Hallelujah. God save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the light, the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. For the Trinity, 
has saved us. Idomen do fois to alitinon, elavomen bnevma e puranion, evromen pistin alithi, adierreto priada proskinundes. Αφτιγάρι μα έσωσε. Always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory, because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your sanctification, that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Την εσπέρα πάσαν τη λίνα και την αμάρτων της άμενη. Εαυτούς και λύρους και πάσαν τη ζωήν ημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Η Κύρια. Οντισή αγιασμός ημών, ξεδόξα να πέμπομεν. Το πατρί και το Υιό και το Υγείο Πνεύματι, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The Lord, who blesses those who bless you, and sanctify those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by divine power, and forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, to all your people. For every good and perfect gift from above coming down from you, the Father of lights, to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and to the ages. Istono makiriu evlogi menon apotunin keos tu eonos. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and to the ages. Nikiriu epitonida ton voale gusa. Defte la vete pandes. Nevma sofias, nevma sineseos. Nevma fovu theu tu epifanendos Christu. Today the nature of the waters is made holy and the Jordan is parted and holds back the flows of its waters as it sees the master washing himself. As man Christ King you came to the river and in your goodness you hasten to accept the baptism of a servant at the hands of the forerunner on account of our sins O lover of mankind, glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. At the voice of one crying in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. You came, Lord, having taken the form of a servant, asking for baptism, though you did not know sin. The water saw you and were afraid. The forerunner trembled and cried out, saying, How will the lamp be light in the light? The servant places his hand on the master, Savior who take away the sin of the world. Make me and the waters holy. Readings from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. 
Thus says the Lord, be glad, you thirsty desert, and rejoice exceedingly, and let the desert blossom as a lily. The desert places of the Jordan shall blossom abundantly and rejoice exceedingly. The glory of Lebanon and the honor of Carmel shall be given to it, and my people shall see the glory of the Lord and the majesty of our God. Be strong, you relaxed hands and feeble knees. Be comforted, you faint-hearted. Be strong, do not fear. Behold, our God renders judgment and will render it. He will come and save us. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall hear. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb will speak clearly. For water shall birth, burst forth in the desert, and a valley in the thirsty land. The waterless desert shall become meadows, and the thirsty land springs of water. There will be the gladness of birds, a habitation of reeds and marshes. A pure way shall be there, and it shall be called a holy way. No unclean man shall pass through there, neither shall there be an unclean way there. But those dispersed shall walk in it, and they shall not go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous animals go up on it, nor at all be found there. But the redeemed shall walk in it, and those gathered by the Lord shall return and come to Zion with gladness, and with everlasting gladness over their head. For praise and exceeding joy will be on their head, and gladness shall possess them. Pain, sorrow, and sighing fled away. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Thus says the Lord, You who are thirsty, go to the water, and all who have no money, go and buy wine and, and fat, and eat and drink without money and price. Why do you value at the price of money, and give your toil for what does not satisfy? Listen to me and eat good things, and your soul will delight in good things. Incline your ears and follow my ways. Listen to me, and your soul shall live in good things. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, the holy and faithful things of David. Behold, I made him a witness among the Gentiles, a ruler and commander to the Gentiles. The Gentiles which did not know you shall call upon you, and the peoples who did not understand you shall take refuge in you. Because of your, because of your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he glorified you. Seek God, and when you find him, call upon him. When he draws near to you, let the ungodly man abandon his ways, and the lawless man his counsels, and let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, for he shall forgive your, your sins abundantly. For my counsels are not as your counsels, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. But as heaven is distant from the earth, so is my way distant from your ways. And your thoughts from my mind, so as rain comes down or snow from heaven and does not return until it saturates the earth, and it brings forth and produces and gives seed to the sower and bread for food, so shall my word be. Whatever proceeds from my mouth, it shall not return until it accomplishes whatever I willed. And I shall prosper your ways and my commandments, for you shall go forth with gladness and shall be taught with joy. For the mountains and the hills shall exalt to receive you with joy, and all the trees of the field shall applaud with their branches. Instead of the broom tree shall come up the cypress, and instead of the nettle shall come up the myrtle, and the Lord shall, shall be for a name and for an everlasting sign, and he shall not fail. The readings from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Thus says the Lord, you will draw water with gladness from the wells of salvation. In that day you will say, praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his glorious things among the Gentiles, and make mention that his name is exalted. Sing to the name of the Lord, for he has done great things. Declare this in all the earth. Exalt and be glad, O inhabitants of Zion, for the Holy One of Israel is exalted in her midst. Let us be attentive. The Lord is my light and savior, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life, whom shall I dread? Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's first letter to, to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I want you to know that our fathers were all under the cloud, and all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in, and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all ate, drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock which followed them, and the rock was Christ. Peace be to you, the reader. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, o Lord, glory to you. 
that time Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens open and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. He, he. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Bed is the issue of the Lord's cosmos, the theist on the youth of the Ecclesion. redemption from sins, the healing of soul and body, and for every suitable purpose, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That it may become water welling up to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have that mercy. That water may prove effectual for the averting of every plot from visible and invisible enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Those who are sprinkled with it and take it for the blessing of homes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And it may be for the purification of souls and bodies. To all who with faith take and drink of it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be granted to be filled with the sanctification through drinking of this water by the invisible manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The Lord God may listen to the voice of our prayer of us sinners and have mercy on us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ με θα. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Έγα στην κύριε και θα μας τα τα έργα σου και τις λόγους εξαρκέσει προς ύμνο των θαυμασίων σου. Δόξα στην κύριε, δόξα στην. Glory to you, Lord, and wonderful are your works, and the word is sufficient to sing the praise of your wonders. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. You, by your own will, brought the universe from nothing, from non-existence to being. You hold creation together with your might. And by your providence, you direct the world. You composed creation from four elements. With four seasons, you crown the circuit of the year. All the spiritual powers tremble before you. The sun praises you. The moon glorifies you. The stars entreat you. The light obeys you. The deep trembles before you. The springs are your servants. You stretched out the heavens. On the waters, you walk on the sea with sand. You poured out the air for breathing. Angelic powers minister to you. The choirs. Of archangels worship you, the many-eyed cherubim with the six-winged seraphim, as they stand and fly around you, hide their faces in awe, 
of your unapproachable glory. For you, being God uncircumscribed, without beginning and inexpressible, came upon earth, taking the form of a servant, being found the likeness of mortals. For you could not bear master in the compassion of your mercy to watch the human race being tyrannized by the devil, but you came and saved us. We acknowledge your grace, we confess your mercy. We do not conceal your benevolence. You freed the generations from, of our race. You sanctified the virgin womb by your birth. All creation sang your praise when you appeared. For you are God who appeared on earth and lived among mortals. You sanctified the streams of the Jordan by sending down from heaven your Holy Spirit, and you smashed the heads of the dragons that lurked there. Therefore, O King who loved mankind, be present now to to the visitation of your Holy Spirit and sanctify this water. Amen. Amen. Therefore, O King of love, mankind, come now to the visitation of your Holy Spirit and sanctify this water. Amen. And give to it the grace of redemption, the blessing of the Jordan, make it a source of incorruption a gift of sanctification, a deliverance from sins and averting of diseases, unapproachable by house of powers filled with angelic strength, that all who draw from it and partake of it may, may have it for the cleansing of souls and bodies, for healing of passions, for sanctification of homes, for every suitable purpose. For you are our God, who through the water and spirit renewed our nature and made old by sin. You are our God, who in the days of Noah drowned sin through the waters of the flood, you are our God, who through Moses freed the Hebrew race from the slavery of Pharaoh through the sea. You are our God, who split open the rock in the desert, and the waters rushed out, and torrents flooded down, and you sanctified your thirsty people. You are our God, who through Elias turned Israel from the error of Baal. And now, Master, do yourself sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit. Amen. Αυτός κι είναι δέσποτα αγία σου του ίδρου του το το πνεύμα της σου το αγίο. Amen. And now, Master, do you yourself sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit? Amen. Give to all who partake of its sanctification, blessing and cleansing and health, and save, Lord. Our faithful rulers. Amen. So, son, Kyrie, to Zulusu, to Spistus, Vasilis, Kyakon, da Simon. Amen. And save, Lord, our faithful rulers. Amen. Guard them under your protection and peace. Subdue beneath their feet every foe and enemy. Grant them all their requests that are for salvation and eternal life. Remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Salvas, the whole order of presbyters the deacons in Christ, every rank of clergy, the people here present, and our brethren who with good reason are absent and have mercy on us in accordance with your great mercy. So that through elements and through angels and through mortals and through things visible and through things unseen, your all holy name may be glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, Lord. Find your ear and hear us, O God, who accept to be baptized in the Jordan and to sent by the waters and bless all of us who signify our calling as servants by the bending of our necks and grant us worthy to be filled with your sanctification through the partaking and sprinkling of this water, and let it be for us, the Lord, for healing of soul and body. Amen. Ani vaptizo menusu kirie, itis triados e faneroti proskinisis. Tu gariani toros i foni prose martirisi, agapiton seion onomazusa, 
και το πνεύμα εν ήδη περιστεράς ευεβαίου του λόγου το ασφαλές ο επιφανής Χριστέ ο Θεός και τον κόσμο φωτίσας δοξάσι. As you were baptized in the Jordan, O Lord, then the worship of the Trinity became manifest. For the voice of the Father bore witness to you, naming you the beloved Son and the Spirit. In the form of a dove, confirm, confirm the certainty of the word. O Christ God, who appeared and illuminated the world, glory to you. And near thine, baptized, O Kyrie, it is triados, efanerothi, proskinisis. Tu gargeni toros, η φωνή προς εμαρτυρήσει αγάπη των σε Υιών ονομάζουσα και το πνεύμα εν ήδη περιστεράς ευεβαίου του λόγου το ασφαλές ο επιφάνης Χριστέ ο Θεός και τον κόσμο φωτίσας δοξάσι. You were baptized in the Jordan, O Lord. The worship of the Trinity was made manifest. For the voice of the Procreator gave testimony by calling you his beloved Son. And the Spirit in the form of a dove show the verity of the Word. Christ our God, who was the one revealed and enlightened the world, we glorify you. And this retrisimeron to Erdanu, Yegonos, O Kyrios, to Ioanni Ekboam, Midialisis Baptisemem, so Segaricum, Adam to Protoplavstorm. You appear today to us. Honor the Master, and your life was signed on us, who cry aloud to you and say, With understanding, O Christ our God, you came and show forth, O light unapproachable. Oh, Kyrie, they thought men. Ευλογία κύριο και άλλο αυτού εφημάστε αυτού τη χάρτη και φιλανθρωπία πάντε νύχια αί και αί στου αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Glory to you, Christ our God, I hope glory to you. May he who consented to be baptized in the Jordan by John for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and all immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life giving cross. The protection of the honorable vice powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet for John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, the holy glorious and the martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Basil, the great Archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, as divine liturgy was celebrated the day of the holy righteous and ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us to save us, for He is good and loves mankind. The Ephron to Nagyon Pateron Imon. Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώησον ημάς. Αμήν. Blessings of our Lord be with you. I hope you're as happy as I am. What a beautiful celebration. What a great way to kick off the Feast of Theophany. Καθίστε μια στιγμή, gentlemen. 
if you would. Really, you know, let's not take for granted what we have. We are so blessed to have Vikendios and Elias, and both of them have not yet even got past the earliest, earliest stages of learning Byzantine music, and they're thrown into the fire. They don't even have a chance to say, but, but, I don't, but, there's no but. We have to do this because God is in control. I'm really honored, of, and you have honored all of us by the good things that you have done. For young men who have uh, decided so early to start uh, your studies, one in the college, second year, one school of theology, first year, and quote, not having this down, God bless you. You really made me, and I think all of us, very, very thankful because sometimes we take for granted for what we have with the cold weather especially. I can imagine Dimitri and Father Dragan, they, there was no way they were coming out. It was just for their health, too cold. So thank you, Vivian. Would you prepare some bottles? And let us just say that um, God is very good for blessing all of us to those who are named uh, Theophania or Theophania. They celebrate, uh, or Epiphanios, Epiphania. They celebrate their name day. Those who are named Fotini, it's tough because there's those who celebrate the feast now and those who celebrate on Saint Fotini, the Samaritan woman. So many healthy years to you. May, may God bless you. Uh, sometimes with the Fotios, it's a little clearer, even though you know, we have Saint Fotios the Great um, to remember. So many healthy years to all of you. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to come forward. I'm going to bless you with the ayesmo. Then you're going to kiss, uh, kiss the cross. And then you're going to receive a bottle to take home. I know what you're saying. Can we take two, three, or four? Let's do this. Let's get into Sunday and let's see what's left. Because we, you know, if everybody takes, let me take six, let me take five, let me take nine. And then on Sunday you're going to say, O papas de paringile arqueta bucaria. And that's not the case. So I like to give one to every home. If you're a college student or you have a dorm, you get one. Otherwise, if you're living at home, and I get the spiti, so that you know you can multiply that appropriately. Sounds fair? And then Sunday, you're welcome to have more. Whatever are the rem the remnants, you are most welcome to have. Uh, tomorrow morning, we will continue the celebration with the feast. Orthros at nine, immediately following the blessing of the great waters, or the, the great blessing of the waters, and then Thea Liturgia. Now, for those of you who commune, then you might say, Am I allowed to drink the Ayesmo? Yes, as long as you don't eat on Didero first. And if you didn't co receive communion because you wanted to take Ayesmo, you're forgiven, you made a boo boo. Because which is greater? That which God blesses? Or he who blesses. So Christ is. So Thea Kinonia is obviously the greatest of all. And then supplemental are the things that he blesses. But ask on your way out, you can receive Andido. You can't be, I mean, you get, that's the best service. <laughs> uh, well, to me, I think the best time of Christ's life 
after he was crucified, he descended into Hades. And he went and he gathered by preaching. He destroyed death by death. He broke the powers of, of, um, of uh, Lucifer. He preached for three days, and they all came up with him. He was going to resurrect. It said, who, who is right? and no one except Lucifer. That's, that is, I think, a practical answer. You know, obviously in human forms, you can come up with a lot of different times. <laughs> oh, there, you can take that home. That goes with you. You can't make sauce though. The other priest here. Okay. So what you're going to do now?